go, 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 King Boo. It's your birthday. Get busy. Get jiggy with it. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. Ski, we have some big news in Nintendo Land. A couple of dope news items for this video, but the first one it looks like we might be getting a Smash Nintendo Direct sometime this week, or at least the minimum. The announcement and release of Terry Bogard could be this week. That's right. From this day to in, within the next seven days, we could be getting Terry Bogard available to play on your Nintendo Switch. Now, coming from two different places. The first is the dude named Sabi. He's been spot on with a lot of his leaks. And... He's saying on Twitter that there's a spirit event on Friday tomorrow that may have SNK spirits. Um, and so he's saying it looks like Terry might drop tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow, you're only a day away. Or, but, that's just one source. This next one, <coughs> very, very, very more likely. The Super Smash Brothers DLC page, the official Nintendo page, has received an update to coming soon. Previously, uh, um, under the next um, Fighter Pass, um, to describe Terry, it says coming soon. Previously, the description said November 2019, and usually... When they update it like that, that means the launch, the announcement is imminent any day now. Also, and this is even more telling, a new private video has been added to the official Super Smash Brothers YouTube channel, which more than likely could be a trailer or gameplay reveal for Terry Bogard. So... This is why I think we're still going to have some kind of Nintendo Direct. Usually, Sakurai, he's so proud of the game. And he's so um, 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 grateful for, the, for what um, the developers have done with the different characters. That he doesn't just drop a trailer. <coughs> but he goes into 15 minute, 20 minutes detail of the strength and weaknesses of each character. And so I think we're going to get a Sakurai appearance some time this week now i haven't been on the terry bogard hype train i still think there were a million other characters that could have taken this dude's place but i have an open mind i want to see what his movesets are i want to see if he's usable if he's worthy of my thumbs next news item the Nintendo Switch, as soon as my camera focuses, there it goes, is crushing it, bro. That's even an understatement. Nintendo is destroying it this generation. Right now, the Switch sales have passed 41, creeping up to 42 million units sold worldwide, which is insane. The PlayStation 4 <coughs> just broke records as now the number two best-selling console of all time, over 101 million, I think. Bro, do not be surprised if Nintendo catches or passes 100 million units, passes the PlayStation 4. It's on that kind of pace right now. Bro, I just tweeted this on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, same name of my YouTube channel. On Twitter, go to Twitter right now. 
Give me a follow. Bro, I just tweeted on Twitter. I really think the best rot for Nintendo next generation, let Sony, let Microsoft battle it out. Super duper, 8K, 500 frames per second, and it costs $500, $600. Nintendo's best rot, for, in my opinion, stick with this hybrid route, bro. Nintendo has made their own lane. With, now, don't get me wrong. Nintendo comes out with a super powerful console. I'll be all game for it. But I think if they give us a minimum where games are the cutoff 1080p 60 frames per second, Nintendo will have a continued winner on their hand. Nobody can touch Nintendo in the lane that they're in right now. The Switch is a unique product unlike anything else on the market. Primarily... Because they have, because dudes are like, well, on my iPhone, I got, the, I saw that there's new Joy-Cons now that you could attach to your iPhone. They got controllers for your iPhone. Um, uh, you could, um, why, you could um, add your Xbox or PlayStation 4 controller now to your iPhone, your mobile device. Your mobile device doesn't have Zelda, doesn't have Luigi's Mansion. Doesn't have Mario Odyssey. Nintendo's IPs, bro, is what <coughs> is um, helping. Really, it's software, bro. Switch is a dope um, piece of hardware, unique device. But, bro, the, the software is killing it right now. Nintendo is delivering in spades with games right now. I um, played Luigi's Mansion last night. And I'm really loving the game, bro. And so, can't um, can't wait to see what Nintendo announces next gen. But I think go the incremental route. Switch Pro, more powerful, still play all the same games as the current Switch model, but at higher resolution, better frame rate. And I think Nintendo will continue to crush it in hardware sales. All right, even even if. Sony has more powerful, or Microsoft is more, because they have more powerful systems out right now. Nintendo would still crush it. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. All right. Speaking of the Nintendo um, Switch selling over 41 million units, we also have the best, the million dollar selling titles um, this fiscal year for Nintendo. <coughs> And they, they're in um, different orders. But most, I, I'm surprised. Link's Awakening has already passed 3 million, bro. That, that's, the Switch is killing it, bro. Not just in hardware, but software. Link's Awakening, 3.3, over 3 million. 3.13 million. Mario Maker, close to 4 million. Mario Kart Deluxe, 19 million, bro. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is sold 19 million. That's why we don't have Mario Kart 9 right now. Because Nintendo is milking this Mario Kart 8 Deluxe train. And I think every exclusive that was on the Wii U should come over to the Switch. So dudes can um, get a taste of what they missed on my Wii U, bro. Alright. Um, next news item. China has approved the very first Nintendo Switch game to be sold in their market. <coughs> New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe U will be the first Nintendo Switch officially approved game to be sold in China, which I think is pretty big. China has a huge market. Nintendo is going to continue to crush it now in China legally. None of that bootleg stuff. Come on, China. Come on, bro. All right. Speaking of Nintendo sales, bro, the Nintendo Switch Lite has already passed, oh, and it sold 1.9, close to 2 million units in one month, bro. The Switch Lite has been on the market for a little over a month, 41 days to be exact. It launched on September 20th. It's October 31st, bro, to sell 2 million units. In almost one, a little over one month, crazy. And guess what? Pokemon hasn't even launched yet. This don't make no mistakes about it. This is re, the reason why Nintendo created this system. One of the main reasons is to get Pokemon out there 
as cheap as possible. They saved a hundred bucks off the price. Portability. Pokemon started off as a portable game. Now it's also we can play it on your home console because it's a Switch. But Pokemon and the Switch Lite, I'm calling it now. It's gonna be the hot item this December, this holiday season. My, my words, bro. I'm just saying. And the last news item, just a reminder to everyone, today is the launch day for Luigi's Badger 3. The game so far has exceeded my expectation. Just a polished, polished game. Also, the game did receive a small update. I think the version now is 1.1. Game is dope, bro. The game is dope, bro. Oh, <laughs> when I unlocked Professor Egad, he started running by Luigi. I was done, bro. The animations are funny. Speaking of this game, tonight is Halloween, so I will be trick-or-treating with my kids. But depends on what time I get in. If I do stream tonight, if, that's a big if, it's about 50-50, we will be on Luigi's Mansion 3 multiplayer with the sponsors. We're going to try out the scare screen. Any sponsors who have the game, we're going to be on Luigi's Mansion tonight. It will be later because, of course, Halloween if you want to know how you can game with me, get into my private gaming Discord, my private um, Nintendo Switch Discord, become a member through Twitch Prime, YouTube, or Patreon. The links are in the description on how you could join the OGC Obi Wan Plays Gaming Championships. We got prizes, prize tournaments, just a dope community. If you got a Switch, hop on in, get in, or get out. Oh, Nintendo 64 reference. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Game is not disappointing. Fire.